70,000 kids compete in the junior track and field Olympics, including one local girl from Wasco. But as 23 ABC Stephen Hicks tells us, it's what she's overcome off the track that's so inspiring. It's against all odds that a runner would come from here. But at Pond Elementary, one kid has been beating the odds her whole life. Like, really? The region? little pond kids? Hi! Umberto Vargas, a former runner himself, knows the key to running. You guys gonna run as hard as you guys can all the way over here. Is to never give up. He didn't give up when he learned his track team had to train by running through the orchards. It's just hard because we don't have a track facility, so I just have to kind of like go out there myself and measure it. Go! He didn't give up when his first grade daughter wanted to run, even when the school only allowed fourth graders and up. Normally yeah. don't let the little teeny ones participate, but she was such a, a good runner. The school let seven-year-old Julissa Vargas run with the older kids, and she immediately made it count. I see myself in her. Earlier this month, she qualified for the Junior Olympics, just like her dad did back in 1997. She always wanted to be number one. She always wanted to be, she was very competitive and that, that's how I was. We're running up and down this road surrounding the orchards at Pond Elementary is part of what helped Ulyssa become the only local to qualify for Junior Olympics. But this road is part of a much longer journey, yes long, even for a seven year old. We were always fear the worst. Fear, because before she even hit the track, her future was in question. At 25 weeks, Ulyssa decided she wanted to come to this world. Ulyssa Lisa wasn't just a preemie, she was a micro preemie, weighing just one pound, 10 ounces. She was 12 inches long, it would fit in the palm of her hands. Our wedding bands fit in her hand, she was so fragile. And then came the complications. Ulyssa was diagnosed with RSV, a deadly virus for someone so young. They will say a 5% chance of her leaving. Just 11 days after she was born, Ulyssa was in a fight for her life. We prayed a lot. We cried a lot. She made it through the night and seven months later finally came home. At age three, she had open heart surgery and two years later finally received a clean bill of health. My husband literally had to ask the cardiologist three or four times, are you sure she can do sports? Are you sure she can do sports? She's clear, sir, she's clear. Today, she looks like any other seven-year-old. All the way, all the way, all the way. Come on, don't give up, don't give up. Healthy and in love with running. I get more faster every time. Faster with time and beating the odds every day. Showed us all what little kids can do if you give them the opportunity. It takes a strong heart to keep running. Elisa Vargas finally has a healthy one. <laughs> <laughs> but even when it was in doubt, she showed there's always hope. She has it in her blood. And her family has started a GoFundMe account to help pay for that trip to Kansas. And you can find the link to it underneath our story on our website. Great story. Stephen, thanks for that.